Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. Now I know a couple of weeks ago we looked at inertia, but I don't think we did the coolest things that we could do with it. We did some pretty cool stuff, but I think we can take it one step further. So let's start out by talking about what inertia is again, real quick, and then we're going to show you some magic tricks. So for our first experiment today, we're going to use this cauldron, we're going to use a paper plate, I'm going to then stack upon it a paper towel roll, and then the crown to our experiment, the ladybug shaker egg. Real quick, let's talk about inertia. So inertia is basically a tendency of something to do nothing or remain unchanged. More specifically for physics purposes, something will continue in its existing state of rest until an external force is going to come along and change it. For our purposes today, we are actually going to see two external forces come along, and the first one is going to be my hand, and the second one is going to be gravity. Here we go. So as my hand knocks the plate, which then knocks the paper towel roll, that egg hangs there for a second before gravity acts upon it and pulls it right down into that cauldron. Inertia. So we're going to attempt another trick with this. We're going to try to pull a tablecloth out from underneath dishes, which should use the same principles. Real quick, I want you to note in the dish towel I'm using, there's an edge that has a seam and an edge that has no seam, which makes for a lot smoother when you're trying to pull it away from underneath something. So I want that edge with no seam to be the seam that's gonna travel underneath my dish. This one's a little trickier because there's not a whole lot of room when you're talking about just how far that dish has to drop. Here we go. Ta-da! Dish left standing. So there you go. A little more inertia. Thank you for following along, and I hope to see you back next week for another Science Short.